My name is Gavin Evans and this is my review of April Fool's Day. And what I'm about to say might be controversial, but I'm starting to realize that I don't really like 80s slasher movies. There are definitely some exceptions. I love A Nightmare on Elm Street 1 and 3. I even like the fourth one. I do like a few of the Friday the 13th movies. And there might be some others I'm forgetting about, but for the most part, I just find it to be such a dull era. Like, so many of them are just so boring, and this movie is no exception. It lacks any bit of energy or momentum, it's never tense or scary, the kills lack any bit of creativity, the characters don't have enough personality, so like, it, it just ends up being a very insufferable watch. And I wish that wasn't the case. The only thing from this movie I'm going to remember is the ending. There is a twist, and it's one of those twists that as soon as it happened, I'm like, holy shit, how did I not predict that? Like, in hindsight, it's very obvious, but you're like, okay, that's kind of fun, and I do love the song that the credits have. I shazammed it, and I couldn't find it on Apple Music, which is a real shame, because, yeah, I definitely enjoyed it, but, um, this movie is just as unremarkable and as forgettable as this genre can come. I won't say it's atrocious, but it's definitely not worth your time. So, and I don't know if that's a hot take or not. I don't know how many of these 80 slasher movies have, like, their fan bases and whatnot. I just don't know. This movie, though, not for me. I found it to be incredibly boring. So, I'll give April Fool's Day, uh... 3 out of 10. And that rating is being very nice. But have you seen April Fool's Day? What did you think? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos soon. And Gavin, out.